Hey folks, welcome back to Board Game Casual, and today we are looking at a cheap game mat from Amazon. Spoiler alert, this is one of the best board gaming purchases I have ever made. Why did it take so long for me to get one? If you're like me, you have a tough time trying to pick up cards from a flat table. Or worse, you can't stand watching other people smashing up your cards because they're having trouble picking them up. So buying a game mat for my table has always been something in the back of my mind. But no matter which company I was checking out, and whether I was looking at something fully customizable or one of the stock colors, it always seemed expensive. I saw some recommendations on where to order plain rubber back neoprene rolls so that you could cut your own mat, and I even did this route as a gift for a friend. But even that wasn't all that cheap. So for a long time, I just sort of hemmed and hawed, putting getting a game mat in the someday, eventually category. Enter the Feltacore's board game neoprene mat on Amazon for 50 bucks. I had some friends coming into town for a gaming weekend and I needed something quick, so I figured I'd take a chance. It's a three millimeter thick neoprene mat with a finished stitched edge, a grippy rubber bottom, and I couldn't be happier. The mat feels great and seems to be really well made. Man, this thing is a deal. Having a good play surface makes the whole gaming experience so much better. It's so much easier to pick up cards or tuck cards under each other. It's great for rolling dice or even just resting your arms on. Now, looks wise, you don't really get a choice here. It's a navy bluish color with maybe a little purple and gray undertones. I'm not sure how well the camera picks it up, but it's very pleasing. What I really like though is the subtle pattern. It keeps it from being boring, yet allows the game and components to pop. Now in the listing, I saw it also came with a carrying case, and my first thought was, who cares? It's not like I plan to travel with this mat to places. But once I got it, I realized the real benefit here is just being able to store the mat when it's not in use. Even the case seems well made. The material feels similar to a Jansport backpack, you know, that, that backpack material. Um, so it's not as thin or cheap as I thought it would be. And the zippers work really well. Now to be candid, I'm a bit lucky. The mat only comes in two sizes. 36 inches by 48 inches, and 42 inches by 66 inches. My current table happens to be exactly 36 inches wide, so it was the perfect fit in terms of the width. Now it's not quite as long as the table, but I actually prefer that because it leaves room for snacks and drinks and whatnot, or even the, the, the box and the instructions uh, off the mat on the sides of the table. To give you a better feel for the thickness, here's the game mat next to a Corsair oversized gaming mouse pad. Uh, you can see that they're, they're pretty much the same height. In fact, what's kind of cool is if for whatever reason I need a little more uh, padded play surface, I can always roll the, this mouse pad that I happen to have right next to it. All in all, what a purchase. This is a fantastic affordable game mat. I mean, 50 bucks. For 50 bucks, you could buy a new game. Or you could buy this, which elevates all of the games you play. If you're looking for a cheap game mat, I definitely recommend this one. Or maybe even taking a chance on one of the others on Amazon if you need something in a different size. I'm really, really glad I bought this mat, and I can't believe it took me this long to buy one. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. It gives you an opportunity to check out a game mat if you don't have one. And I'll see you in the next video here on Board Game Casual. Bonus game! If you're watching this video, then chances are you like games, so I figured why not throw a little bonus game into the video itself? In this video, there are a lot of components shown from different games. Can you name all of the games with components that were shown in this video? Throw your answers down in the comments.